Every year, the experts at U.S. News & World Report rank the nation's best hospitals. They've recognized St. Vincent as the number one hospital in Arkansas and listed eight clinical areas as high-performing specialties. The next closest Arkansas hospital only had three. This recognition is due to the unwavering commitment of our world-class physicians, dedicated nurses, and associates who have now made St. Vincent the state's number one hospital. Exercise is supposed to make you feel good, but sometimes you can experience some unpleasant side effects. In today's Your Health, why we sometimes get nauseous during a workout and how to avoid it. Have you ever been exercising and suddenly felt like you were going to get sick right in the middle of your workout? Well, you're not alone. It happens to people of all fitness levels. Competition, you know, you're out there chasing the other guys, and I'm, a, I'm one of the old guys, so 47, so. So you're chasing 25, 30 year olds, it's tough. That feeling of nausea can be brought on by training at a level too intense for what your body can tolerate, especially if you're new to exercising. It takes about four to eight weeks to build up to anaerobic conditions, you know, where it has trouble breathing. And so if you just try to jump in, sometimes you can overexert yourself. Josh Landers of D1 Sports sees it all the time. He says chemical and hormonal influences, including anxiety, can also cause nausea. Just calm down, take deep breaths. A lot of times anxiety just has to deal with breathing and just controlling your breathing will, will help get everything back on the normal level. And if your body is digesting food, the lack of blood flow for digestion could also cause you to get sick. And whenever you feel it, the recommendation is always to take a break. A lot of times we build up acid in our body. For example, when you're working out, you're building up lactic acid and carbonic acid. Sports drinks have a lot of acid in them. Uh, when you're feeling nauseous, it's just time to, your body's just saying you need to back off a little bit, uh, take a break, you know, drink some water and, and just, just cut back a little bit. You now, trainers recommend eating a small meal one or two hours before you work out. Make sure you stay hydrated with water, of course, and stay away from carbonated drinks before or during your workout.